How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your host, Rise of Oblivion. Today guys, we're going to bring up a little bit of a topic, something that I've talked about here on the channel a couple of times, but never did like a full-length video about or talking about basically my full-on opinions about it. And that is either like some type of multiplayer or cooperative multiplayer type of experience when it comes to Shin Megami Tensei 5. So there has been a mobile game, a mobile like Meg 10 game basically that has done certain stuff like this where you could actually battle each other and things like that but I'm thinking more of like cooperative modes and things like that. When it comes to the Shin Megami Tensei series there hasn't been a bunch of them that have been on so-called you know like multiplayer consoles like Persona and whatnot has been but they're super you know just story driven and whatnot it kind of makes sense the way the direction of those have went however I think a cool added on mode like a multiplayer battle mode or something like that would be interesting. For the most part, I do like the core aspect of most of these games being a really, really good, you know, single player experience. That's what you expect when it comes from these big Meg 10 games, but they have dabbled when it comes to Shin Megami Tensei being a sort of multiplayer battle type of mode, at least when it comes to the phone game. And we could see how that could be incorporated over on to the Switch with SMT5. When it comes to SMT3, it was on the PS2, Online stuff's not really good then. The 3DS had SMT, you know, 4, so it kind of makes sense why past iterations maybe never really had quite the chance to do so. But now with SMT 5 being on the Switch, Nintendo is pushing for more online type of stuff and even having, I believe they're bringing Game Boy games and Game Boy Color games for, for the Switch for the online mode if you pay for it. So Switch is trying to do a big emphasis on online stuff, you know, online Mario Kart, Mario Party, bunch of different game modes you know animal crossing stuff like that they're trying to push for this online sort of multiplayer thing it's took in nintendo quite a long time to get to this i mean think about how long it's been since like the ps3 and xbox 360 days like yeah sure i think the wii u and a couple other consoles from nintendo did have multiplayer but it was super outdated and super old i mean you're still using friend codes on the switch for christ's sakes but this could be the first opportunity that we really do have for a game to have multiplayer. Now, I don't think SMT5 from what we've seen from pictures and the actual description of the game and whatnot, I don't think it actually says anything about there being a multiplayer mode at all. But that doesn't necessarily mean that this could not be a feature that they decide to bring us down the road. For instance, Mario Party never had any type of multiplayer capabilities, but then they added it on later, um, you know, a couple of years down the line since the game actually released. It was out, I think, just a couple of months ago this year in specific, so they're willing to do this even for older games, and this could be something that Atlas decides to tackle on later, maybe seeing how popular SMT5 could be. The game is probably going to have DLC, so they're definitely going to incorporate more Nintendo licensing and stuff like that from the store itself, so I think a multiplayer mode would be kind of interesting. But when it comes to a multiplayer mode, there is two avenues, like I was kind of saying, that you could kind of go down. And the first one being, obviously, like a battle versus mode. You have, you know, protagonist and your group of demons versus another protagonist and his group of demons. Or, what you could actually do, just to make it maybe a little more balanced and whatnot, it's just the demons, right? The demons that you've had over your party and whatnot can face against another person and their demons. So you can actually have something to do after the game's over. Typically there are some like small things you could kind of do. Of course, New Game Plus as well. Go for other endings and stuff like that. But another really cool idea I think is to let you have something to do with these demons that you have built up so long over the course of your playthrough. You could then take these demons and fight online and I know it's a little bit of a stretch, but if we do get that, you could even add more on top of that, as in like having ranked modes, different battle modes, different weekly events and things like that. That's of course speaking highly on the fact that it won't just be a basic, you know, multiplayer mode where you just fight and that's it. I could definitely see it being something like that where they don't do much more about this, especially when it comes to Atlas. They haven't done a ton of this type of stuff. When it comes to multiplayer, you can think about, you know, P5 and P4. It's like, it brings something up, it just sort of just tells you what people had did, but in the most part, it really doesn't do a lot for you. So, actually having a more cooperative multiplayer thing might be something more of what Atlas is trying to do, more than having a battle mode. A battle mode would be fun, would be cool, I would really like to have that. It seems like 
the new Pokemon game is also going to have a battle tower. So they're trying to bring Pokemon battles through the, you know, Switch with even newer Pokemon releases. So it kind of makes sense. I think SMT5 could easily do this as well. But like I said, does Atlas want to do a battle type of mode? I'm not too sure because for the most part, it's been more cooperative helping type of things when it comes to network access and using any sort of like multiplayer cooperation i guess you could say so what a cooperation mode type of thing could be for smt5 and this might be a little bit of a cheap thing to do it would be like adding one of your friends on switch and then borrowing a demon or something like that from them and then using that demon it could like scale the demon down maybe to your level so it just uses certain skills and stuff like that so you could have like maybe a better skill than what you would have by that time, but the demon's not super overpowered and just, you know, wiping everything. Or you could have it be a overpowered demon that maybe your friend gives you, they can give you one demon or something like that, or even maybe even trade you demons. So you could have your friends who you have added, you know, help you through your playthrough of the game, either by sharing a demon, swapping demons, just learning more powers and abilities from friends, or maybe even trading items and things like that from them. I think that would be a little bit too much having a full on, you know, like active economy for SMT5. Again, this is just a hunch, a thing, like a wish list more than likely of like if we actually got multiplayer. It could go much further than this, obviously, but it more than likely, I don't think is going to go much more than just that if we do get a cooperative mode or a like battle versus mode. So, those are the two modes of specific that I think that they could probably do when it comes to multiplayer but there is another one that's not necessarily playing with other you know players it's not playing with other people who have you know smt5 it said it's you doing online battles against the computer like maybe weekly events from atlas themselves that you can battle different demons and you even have maybe negotiations to get those demons now this one i think is the best likelihood of us getting something like that I believe there's what used to be called like, you know, Pokemon Street Pass and stuff like that. Certain weekends or whatever, you know, you could get a certain Pokemon or something like that. And I don't mean to compare Pokemon to SMT so much in this video, but we could see something cool where like Atlas decides to do maybe for a special weekend or maybe on release weekend, you can actually fight a certain demon and then have a chance to actually do a negotiation with them and get that demon. So maybe you could get... A demon you normally would not have gotten yet earlier or perhaps maybe even demons that aren't currently even in the game you could get other demons maybe from other games or something like that like maybe for a celebration for persona 5 near the release date of persona 5 you know all those years ago maybe on like the anniversary of its release date all of a sudden our send is something like that that you can try and get for a special weekend or a special week and you can battle our send and have them actually be part of your team or something like that this would also be cool to do for stuff like maybe even getting raidu to be on your team or other meg 10 properties and demons i think that would be a really cool idea i would love to see this personally if we're not going to be getting like a battle mode or a co-op mode at least some type of online seasonal you know eventful type of thing I think that's a really creative idea and a good thing that Atlas could do to keep the player base constantly engaged. Because once you beat SMT5, there's not a whole lot you could do other than, I guess, just start a new run, right? But if you could have seasonal things or a new weekly battle or something like that to look forward to, or perhaps if you didn't actually get the certain demon you know, last week, you could have another shot at it another weekend or another week later or something like that to actually get them. So... I think this is all of the like sort of ideas I could think about when it comes to multiplayer. Let me know down in the comment section below what would you like to see? If there could be any sort of multiplayer for this game, what would you like to see? Like, you know, it could be anything. Like, I guess a battle royale or something like that. I don't know how that would work. I don't think that'd be possible, but let me know. What do you guys think? If it comes to multiplayer in SMT5, what would you like to see mixed in with it? Do you think the game modes that uh, I sort of brought up think to make any sense? Or do you think they're complete, you know, utter, you know, trash or whatever? Um... But I think that's going to be it for now, guys. Like, comment, subscribe for more content. Click the bell to be notified whenever I go live again. I'll keep you posted on everything Shin Megami Tensei 5, but also keep you posted on the Persona 25th anniversary. And I also have my Twitch linked down below. I've been playing a bunch of games on there as well. So if you like seeing other games other than SMT5, or you just love seeing 
and hearing my beautiful voice. Um, go check that out. If not, I will see you next time. Thank you all so much for watching.